Good afternoon. My name is Craig Bradford, and I'm the principal of the Senior Extension Program. On behalf of the Sacramento County Office of Education, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our virtual graduation ceremony for the 2020-2021 school year. Thank you to all the family and friends who are here to watch and to celebrate this momentous achievement. I would also like to thank and recognize the SCOE teachers and support staff that work so hard with these graduates to make this day possible. To begin our ceremony, I would like to invite the SCOE graduating class to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Will the audience please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce our Sacramento County Superintendent of Schools, Dave W. Gordon, to the podium to share a few words with you. Hello, everyone. It's my honor to be with you, even if it's virtually. I'm thrilled to share this event with you because high school graduation is a big, big moment in a person's life. Graduates, the road of life many of you traveled to get to this point has had its share of bumps and detours. But you have all learned the important lesson the Chinese proverb teaches us. Failure is not falling down, but refusing to get up. And this is a great day to celebrate achievement. You all deserve recognition because you made the decision to get up and follow through with the hard work needed to graduate. And while this is a virtual celebration, the pride we feel for you is very real. Graduation is an important step in your life journey, but remember, this is just one, and only one, of many achievements in your lives. Through SCOE, we hope you found the direction you needed to succeed. You had extra support, mentoring, career development, and training, and an entire team of exceptionally compassionate and caring teachers and staff rooting you on every step of the way. I want to thank our outstanding Board of Education for their support of all of our students throughout the school year. I also want to thank our valued partners, the Sacramento County Probation Department and the many nonprofits that provide you with support. We work closely with them all, and I know they are so proud of you as well. I want you to remember that this success is something to share with many other people. Please remember to thank your teachers and school staff who have been so supportive. Try to send them emails or notes in the regular mail. Try to include photos of you and your families. I know our teachers and other staff would so appreciate that. Most importantly, please remember to thank your family and friends. They've been behind you this whole time. They believed in you. They are very, very proud of you. Graduating from high school shows you can reach your goals when you commit yourselves. But please, please don't stop now. Reach further, reach higher. Learning doesn't end with high school. What about a two-year degree or certificate from a community college? How about a four-year degree from a CSU or a UC? What about a trade apprenticeship? Your options are endless and so is your potential. Like all of us, you've made mistakes along the way and hopefully you've learned from them. But please understand your biggest mistake isn't in a few failures. It's in failing to learn from them, pick yourself up and face the challenges ahead of you. Some people ask in life, what is more important, good luck or hard work? In my own experience, the harder I worked, the luckier I got. You are leaving our campuses with more than just a piece of paper. You have new skills and new experiences that will carry you out into the workforce and hopefully on to further higher education. But no matter what it is that you try, please don't lose hope if you don't succeed the first time or the second or even the third. Success is in your future, I can feel it. And now it is my pleasure to welcome our keynote speaker, 
Kevin Bracey is a motivational speaker and author of several books on leadership, motivation, greatness, achievement, and change. Kevin, thank you so much for joining us. We are honored to have you speak to our graduating class. Congratulations, you did it. You, you set a goal and you achieved the goal that you set out to achieve. I want you to just take a second. I want you to think about this journey that you just been through. Think about all the challenges. Think about all the struggles. Think about all the resistance. Think about all the, the, the challenges that came your way on your journey to achieving this dream. Now hear me closely. See, right now you're in a space where you've, you, you, you feel great. This is what success feels like. This is a moment of success. This is a moment that you could stop and you can breathe it in because you've achieved something that you set out to achieve. But while you have this momentum, my friends, while you have this momentum, I want you to set another goal right now, as soon as you possibly can, because here's what you've done. You've gone through what I call the three phases of achieving a goal. Phase one is the moment you set the goal. You set the goal to graduate. Remember when you set that goal? That's phase one. The moment you get clear on what you want to achieve, that's phase one. And then phase two is the struggle part. It's easy to set the goal, but the hard part is overcoming the struggles that come your way while you're trying to achieve that goal. And as you fought through the struggles, here's where we sit today. In a moment of victory. Now you set the goal, it only took a second to set that. The victory, you get graduation day, yes, but you've spent most of your time overcoming the struggle. So now you know exactly what to do. Listen, everything that it takes to, to, to become successful, you've done it. You made a commitment. You stuck to it. You made a decision. You moved through it. You've, you've, you've created and, and connected with your team, which is your family and your teachers. All the things that it takes to get to where you are today, you have the formula of success right now. So as you can, as you chill and relax and have fun and celebrate your victory, it's set that goal as soon as you can. What's the next one? Because life is a lot more fun when you're in the pursuit of something. And when you know that you can achieve it, now get excited and set even a bigger goal. But as you set this bigger goal, I want to give you one thing that I want you to put into your pocket. One thing that I want you to want to be your go to move as you set your new goal and start chasing the new goal. You already got the formula, the goal, the struggle, the victory. That's what it is. The goal, the struggle, the victory. Anything you set in the future from this point forward, it's setting the goal, going through the struggle, fighting through the struggle to get to how you feel today, the victory. But as you pursue this next goal, Here's what I want you to take with you, my friends. Listen closely. Stay with me. Listen, I want you to take a positive state of mind with you, a, po a more positive state of mind. You had to be, at, you had to have some level of positivity to get to where you are today, but I want you to take it to the next level. I call it the greatness state of mind. Hear me. The greatness state of mind is this. When your mind goes negative, your mouth goes positive. No, 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 wait, you gotta hear me. You gotta hear me closely. When your mind goes negative, as you reset your goal, when your mind goes negative, I want your mouth to go positive right now. When your mind says, I can't do it, your mouth says, yes, I can do it because I did it. I graduated, I got my diploma, so I know I can do it. When your mind says, you know what? I don't know if I have the, the, the strength to fight through the struggle again. Yes, you do, because if you've done it once, you can do it again. I want you to take on what I call the Muhammad Ali mentality. And it says simply this, as you pursue your next goal, do not give mental recognition to the possibility of failure, doubt, or defeat. I'm going to say it again. You've graduated. Now you're about to set another goal. As you pursue that goal, as you're going through the struggles, because that's part of life, do not give mental recognition to the possibility of failure, doubt, or defeat. How do you do that? When your mind goes negative, your mouth goes positive. Friends, success in life is right here.
Muhammad Ali said, I'm the greatest. Who told him he was the greatest? He did. Muhammad Ali said, I'm pretty. Who told him he was pretty? He did. Muhammad Ali said, I shook up the world. He said, I float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. He said, I must be the greatest. Ha! Huh? He said, last night I had a dream. In Africa, I had one hell of a rumble. I had to whoop Tarzan's behind first for claiming to be the king of the jungle. For this fight, I've wrestled with alligators. I've tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning and throw thunder in jail. You know I'm bad. I've murdered a rock. I've injured a stone. I've hospitalized a brick. He said, I'm so mean, I make medicine sick. I'm so fast, man, I can run through a hurricane and don't get wet. When George Foreman meets me, he's going to pay his debt. I can drown a drink of water or kill a dead tree. Wait until you see Mohammed Ali. Listen to me. Your next goal, as you're going through the struggle, continue to talk yourself into greatness. Tell yourself on a daily basis, I can do it. I can do anything I put my mind and my heart to do. I can fight through the struggles. I can fight through the trials and the tribulations that are going to undoubtedly come my way. And if I fight through the struggle on the other side of the struggle is where my victory lies. Congratulations. You did it. Not only you, you, your team, your family, your teachers helped you. But now as you pursue this next goal, Make sure you talk yourself into greatness all the way through it as you set the goal, as you fight through the struggle, and on the other side of the struggle, as you're feeling right now in this moment, friends, this is what the victory feels like. A life filled with chasing goals, in my opinion, is what it's all about. I see you. There's greatness in you. You did it. Nobody else can say they did it. You did the work, so you get to revel in the victory. There's greatness in you. Brace up. My name is Kevin Bracey. Brace you at your next goal. Let's go. Thank you for that inspirational message. It is now my pleasure to invite members of the 2020-2021 graduating class to say a few words. Good afternoon, class of 2021. I hope everybody's having a great day. The last month is amazing to you and the new year is coming. My name is Ivan Ray Holbert, and I'm so grateful to be here today to celebrate graduation along with all of you. It is a very special day for me because my mom passed away in 2016 due to leukemia and cancer. Always wanted to watch all her kids graduate from high school, and I know she'd be proud of me and my accomplishment. I am the first to get a high school diploma in two generations, and it makes my family very much proud of me. I want to thank all my family and especially my teachers for the support and encouragement as I'm sure each and every one of us has received. Getting this diploma is the first step in fulfilling my dreams and brings me closer to going to culinary school. I've always had a big passion for cooking and baking since I was a kid. And I always like that weird kid watching cooking shows all day. Reaching this goal has made be more confident in my ability to get back in the world after another very traumatic incident. And I wish everybody the best in life and their dreams for the future. A big thank you for Nathaniel S. Coley Senior Extension Program for helping me graduate. Have a great life. Thank you. We will now begin the presentation of our certificates. Elias Aguirre. Orlando Aguirre Tapia, Jasmine Don Ahmad, Atea Alexander, Bilal Al Qadir, Tiara Allen, Abdul Al Tosh. Brandon Alvarez, Jasmine Anaya, Dayon Anwar, Seth Archuleta, Fernando Ariola, 
Andrea Alvias, Demoria Barker Jr. Teal Barrow. Kelsey Blass. Cassandra Brooks. Alejandro Castro Rodriguez. Baquarian Clark. Colton Cochran. Kayan Credic. Abdullah Darwish. Ahmad Dewara. Zahan De Jesus. Zaymon Dorsey Thomas. Agracia Estrada. Maria Cristina Flores. Cree Ford. Tremari Fournette. Crystal Gandara Gonzalez. Braden Garcia. Luis Garcia. Rachel Garcia. Mason Ray Garrett. William Garrett. Indaya Geary. Ariana Guillen Correa. Tiffany Hale. Liza Henderson. Maisha Hest. Kurt Hodges. Yvonne Holbert. Alasia Jackson. Zaira Jaime Morales. Rikaya Jenkins. Isis Jones. Daniel Juarez. Andrea Landeros Mendoza. Jessica Lara. Julian Lopez. Michael Luther. Angelina Lee. Reina Milan. Aaron Mallory. Gianna Martin. Tyrese Martin. Lisette Martinez. Sukari McClish. Elise McGee. Nagina Momond. Aram Mondragon Hernandez. David Muniz Ramirez. Anthony Ritchie. Mark Marlon Nelson. Jose Nieto Romero. Nigel Patterson. Luis Perez. Fithan Truk Van. Cameron Pierre. Anthony Placencia. Kathia Ponce Hernandez. Hugo Ponce Reynoso. 
Delinda J. Pope, Jacoby Pope, Susanna Prater, Elijah Queen, Abdul Hadib Rahimi, Daniel Ramirez, Jennifer Rivera Cerna, Haley Robertson, Amber Rodriguez, Catherine Ross, Saeed Saeed, Lily Annie Sang, David Salazar, Jadeep Sandhu, Haley Scott Matting, Angelina Monique Sims, Omar Assam Slake, Emily Smith Valley, Taylor Rose Stoll, Mohammed Tilbani, Ayana Tramble, Roman Urbieta, Aaron Barnell, Armando Von Navarro, Malia Walton, Deja Williams, Frank Williams, Quanisha Wilson. At this time, it is my pleasure to invite Assistant Superintendent Jackie White and Board President Karina Talamontes for the closing of the ceremonies. Thank you, Principal Bradford. I just wanna take a moment to celebrate these youth uh, and, and celebrate the strength and courage that it took for them to get here to this point. We're really excited to be able to celebrate these youth today and their accomplishment on earning their high school diploma. If our graduates could please stand. At this time, we'd like you to turn your tassel. This symbolizes that you've graduated and received your diploma. President Talamantes, at this time, I'd like to certify that all of these students have met the requirements of the State Board of Education and are hereby presented for graduation. Thank you, Assistant Superintendent White. Now, before you accept this award, I wanted to say a few words. Congratulations, I'm so proud of you, and you have come such a long way. I know these last two years have presented many challenges and obstacles, but you did it, and you're here today. And I'm sure you get to celebrate with your family and friends and loved ones in the next few hours. So on behalf of the Sacramento County Board of Education, congratulations, class of 2021, you did it. Now, can't wait to see what comes next and we wish you the best.